On the previous steps, we saw that there is no problem with assembly code, but some elements contain neither level nor base constraint information. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple report to the design team and how to manage code assignments manually inside Synchro. Let's filter these elements again and add element ID column. Let's find element ID and put it on the top after the 3D column. Now let's filter all elements where there is no information in regarding to its level, no reference level, no, no base constraint. For that, let's filter by empty cells. And base level. Now let's copy all the rows from the resources table to Excel. For that, you can simply click over the empty cell and choose Select All Resources, only visible resources in the table. Or you can use a shortcut Ctrl A and choose to select only visible resources. Click over any place in the yellow field and choose copy as text. Now let's open an empty Excel workbook and paste values in. As you can see, we have the first column name, then 3D objects and element ID, our third column. Let's save the file, save the Excel workbook and name it as a report. In the Revit, I prepared a script for you that would do finding and creating set from those elements. Let's go to the Manage tab and click over Dynamo Player. Let's find our script. The script was located in the third lecture. So you see its name is create set by ID. Let's see its inputs. First of all, let's choose our report. This is our report file. Its sheet name is sheet1. The number of ID column in Excel. So it's it was the third column, but since we counted from zero, we set it as two. And name of selection. I choose to check these elements. So let's run it. Run completed. Now let's see our brand new set from load selection. Choose the set and activate it. Now you see that all these elements have no level, no reference level, nor base constraint assigned. Well, honestly, I tried to create a schedule, but since some of the elements, such as top rails, are hardly editable, it didn't work. However, if you hit over the edit set and choose uh, check these elements and hit over edit, you will see that Revit isolated these elements for us. You can edit them from any view. It's kind of lifehack in a way, since there is no chance to isolate this bunch of elements from temporary height isolate bottom. But uh, I rely on your creativity. You can perform such kind of checks in many other situations. Now by clicking over element, we can fill down a parameter, export to Synchro and synchronize it in Synchro. So all these parameters will appear in our resource table. In case if our job can wait, we can manage filling down parameters in Synchro directly. By selecting resource from the resource table, we can open its resource properties parameters and user fields. We can make a right click over resource properties, choose add value, select interested parameter, for example, base constraint, and assign value to it. For example, this will be level two. Now 
now you'll see that this value will disappear from the list since we have all, all filters applied. Alternatively, you can fill down all these values from the resource table. Let's choose a bunch of elements. Write a parameter. And do it from here. Or we can select multiple elements from the resource table and add the same value from resource properties window. As a last alternative, we can copy all values from the table to the Excel. Fill down the D column. Copy the column. Click over the empty cell in the interested column and choose Paste as text. Now let's clear all filters. And now you can see that we've managed to change parameters inside Synchro in three ways. By exporting it to Excel, by correcting values from the resources table, and by correcting values from the user field tab.